says rotate your phone. You can't turn your phone while recording. <gasps> All right, I think we're live. If you guys can hear us, start commenting. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure if this is working. Let me see. Let me get my phone. Oh, I see there's somebody on there. I'm going to check on my phone, guys. Good morning, Club Kickbox. Hope everybody's doing well. We're going to get started in about two or three minutes. I'm going to wait for a few more people and make sure all of our tech is working. Let me go to my Facebook and see. All right, I see us. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. And sound is good. Thanks, Mimi. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Can you hear the music? If you can, give me a thumbs up. We can't have it too loud, but just enough to have a little bit of background noise. All right. So just so you guys know, I have two people here to help demonstrate because it's really difficult to talk and do all the exercises. So I have my stepchildren here. So I have Julia, Dimit. There's Julia and Ryan. <laughs> they both have taken a few classes, so um, they know what to do. Hi, Brittany. Oh, Brittany. I haven't seen you in forever. Thanks for coming in. All right, we'll get started about one minute. <laughs> you just want to make sure you have your boxing gloves ready. If you don't have any boxing gloves at home, that's fine. You can use bottles of water or um, for those extra weights, or if you don't want to use any, you don't have to. And also you want to make sure you have water close by. We're going to do the 10 minute warm up, seven rounds, and then I have something fun for the end as well. <laughs> Not yet. All right, if you're just tuning in, welcome to our Sunday fun day. No, it's not Amanda, but this is my first time doing a live class, so you'll have to bear with me. Hopefully everything will work out just fine. Hi, Mom. <laughs> All right, and I set up our timer, so you're going to be able to hear the 10-minute mark and the bell, and there's also going to be a voice when we're about two minutes to start the next round. It'll say, get ready, so you'll know when you're ready to get started on that next round. But we're going to go ahead and get started with our warm-up. Make sure you have a little bit of space. And we'll start with that two-minute jog. And we are going to get started in three, two, one. Starting that timer. And go. Everybody go ahead and start that jog in place. Trying to pick up your knees as high as you possibly can. And pumping those arms. The other day when I did this, I tried to run all around my basement, but I got really dizzy. So if you don't have a really big space, it's probably a lot easier to run in place. All right, so make sure you're getting those knees up really high and getting all warmed up. All right, just a couple minutes, we're gonna, a couple seconds, we're gonna stop right where you are and we're gonna take it into some regular squats. In three, two, one, and here we go. We're just gonna take it into about 10 seconds of squats. Make sure you're pushing those hips back. You have your weight in your heels. You should be able to wiggle your toes here. All of your weight shouldn't be in the front of your foot, but in the back. All right, just a couple more seconds here, guys, and we're gonna take it back to that jog in place in three, two, and one. Here we go. Taking it back to that jog in place. Hey, Stephanie, I hope you're taking the class and not just watching. <laughs> All right, make sure those knees are coming up. All right, now in a couple seconds, we're gonna take it into four butt kickers and four high knees. In three, two, one. Lean it forward and bring up those four butt kickers and then lean it back for those four high knees. And keep going and switch it. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Make sure that heel is coming all the way up to that booty. And then those knees are coming all the way up in between. All right, just a couple more seconds here, guys. And we're gonna take it back to that jog. In three, two, one. Here we go, taking it back to that jog. All right, I'm periodically gonna take a couple breaks and leave it to Ryan and Julia to take the lead. All right, guys, we have just 10 more seconds of this jog. And next up, we're gonna be taking it into some squats, but you have about five more seconds before we get there. And three, two, one, find your favorite spot in your living room or basement or garage or wherever you are, and we're taking it into those squats. 
All right, we're warming up those legs. We have a lot of kicks coming for you later. One more with those thighs, and of course, those booties. All right, you have just a few more seconds in these squats. And we're gonna go ahead and take it into a right reverse lunge with that right knee at the top. Here we go, in three, two, one. Take that right knee back, foot back, bring up that right knee and set it down and go right back into it again. We're only doing the right here. And if you can't really get that balance, you can go ahead and modify and just step those feet together instead of bringing up that knee. Just bring it back and step those feet together. Bring it back and step those feet together. All right, if you're really good at balancing, you wanna get that extra work, bring up that knee at the top. All right, you only have a couple more seconds here. Make it, there we go. All right, keep going with that right foot. And next up, we are gonna up the intensity and we're gonna go ahead and take it into some jump squats. In three, two, one, here we go, squat it down. And we are adding that explosion at the top. All right, for those of you who wanna modify, that's okay. You can bring it down to that squat and come up to that calf raise. Just up on those tippy toes. And that's okay too. Or if you really wanna work and add that explosion at the top, go ahead and roll through your feet, come up off of the ground and back down with that weight back in your heels. All right, you only have five more seconds of these guys. And next up, we're gonna take it back to that reverse lunge with the left leg this time in three, two, one. Here we go. Put that left leg back this time, reaching those, that foot back, bringing up that knee at the top. And then again, if you wanna modify, you're just stepping together or have that extra knee at the top. It's up to you, this is your workout. That's the best part about working out at home. Nobody can see you. You can make it what you wanna make it. But I will say, make sure you are still doing your best, even though nobody's watching you. All right, you have just a few more seconds of these leg lunges. Next thing we're coming to are those mountain climbers. So we're gonna go ahead and get that high plank position in three, two, one. Everybody's in that high plank. And we're gonna go ahead and take it to those mountain climbers. All right, you can decide if you wanna go fast here or if you wanna slow it down and bring those knees that opposite elbow for those twisting mountain climbers. You're gonna to get to do these twice, so you decide which one you wanna do first. All right, but whatever you're doing, make sure those knees are coming up and your core is nice and tight. You have just a couple more seconds here, guys. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and take it into some regular old fashioned push ups. All right guys, so we are in that high plank position. Go ahead and hold and take a quick five second break here. And we're gonna take it to those push-ups in three, two, one, and here we go. All right, make sure you're leading with your chest here. If you wanna go ahead and modify, come down to your knees, that's okay. But if you're on your knees, you really wanna make sure that your thighs are coming all the way down to the floor so you don't have your booties up in the floor, up in the air, I mean, we don't want any booty mountains. All right, just a few more seconds here. And next up, we're gonna take it into one leg hip bridges in three, two, one. So you are on your back. You gotta bring that left heel up to your fingertips. Can you see me? And then you're gonna lift that right leg up and go ahead and lift those hips up. Ryan and Julie are showing into those hip bridges. There you go. You wanna try and make sure that that straight leg that is up in the air isn't wiggling around too much and those fingertips are reaching up for that left heel. All right, there you go, guys. Just a few more seconds in these. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and take it back into those mountain climbers. Hey, Pap, in three, two, one. Here we go. We're back in that high plank position, taking it back in those mountain climbers. So remember, if you did twisting mountain climbers last time, Go ahead and add up that speed, work on that endurance, and take these mountain climbers for speed. All right, we're only here for a few more seconds, guys. And next up, we're gonna go ahead and take it into back, back into those regular push-ups in three, two, one. Here we go, back in that high plank, and we're taking it into those regular old-fashioned push-ups. All right, this is your last set of these. So really make them count. If you did them on your knees last time, go ahead and try to do them on your toes. Because remember, one today is two tomorrow, three the next day, and so on. Keep pushing yourselves. You have just five more seconds. And we're gonna go ahead and take them back into those one leg hip bridges with your left leg in the air this time. In three, two, one. All right, that left leg goes up. 
fingertips by your heel, and we are lifting those hips. Make sure your core is nice and tight so you get that ab workout too. All right, good job, guys. You only have two and a half minutes left of this warm up. Y'all are killing it. Just a few more seconds, and we're gonna go ahead and take it into one walking push up and one push up. All right, so here we go. We're all in that high plank position. You guys see me here? And remember, those walking push ups are gonna come down on the right elbow, down on the left up on the right, up on the left, and then come down for that push-up. Here we go, making sure you're reversing every single time. So one walking push-up, go ahead, and then come back up for that one regular push-up, bringing that chest down to the carpet or hardwood or tile or wherever you are in your house, and make sure you are reversing which elbow comes down first and which elbow comes up. All right, you have just a few more seconds here, guys. Make sure your core is really tight so you're getting that ab workout. Next up, we're gonna work those abs and we're gonna go ahead and take it into bicycles. In three, two, one. So everybody is on their backs here and we are taking it into those bicycles, making sure those elbows are reaching to that opposite knee. If you really wanna challenge yourself, you can take your hand to the instep, instep of that opposite foot and that'll really make sure you're getting that twist in. These are working not just those abs, but your obliques too. All right, keep it going, guys. We want to speed it up right here for this last five seconds because we're about to take it into everybody's favorite hollow hold. In three, two, one, here we go. And we're going to lift those feet up, hands on your lower back. We are looking up and out at the ceiling in that hollow hold. Guys, we're going to hold for 10 seconds here. And while you're holding, I'm going to tell you about our AMRAP. So for the last minute, you're gonna take it into an AMRAP. It's gonna be three sit-ups, three push-ups, three jump squats. We're gonna go ahead and get started in that. In three, two, one, here we go. You have three sit-ups. You can add that jab cross at the top. And two, and three. Flip it around for those three push-ups. You have 45 seconds, kickboxers. Keep it going. And then bring it up for those three jump squats. Exploding up at the top. We wanna to explode at the end of this warm up. Take it back down for those three sit ups. Go ahead and move at your own pace. You have just 30 seconds. All right, flip it around for those push ups. Here we go. You wanna give it all you've got for this last 25 seconds. Three sit ups, three push ups, three jump squats. You got this. You're gonna hear that knock shortly. Keep pushing. You got this guys, even from home. I know you are killing it. All right, there's that knock. You have just eight seconds. Finish strong, guys. Don't stop in the middle of your AMRAP. Finish it. Two. Ready? And one. There was that ready. Woo! Awesome job, guys. All right, we made it through the warm up. All right, the hard part's over. Go ahead and get yourself a quick drink, find some space, and we will stretch it out. No love, Jack. Stretch. I'm relax. All right, so for anyone who is doing the workout live, give me a thumbs up if you are sweating from that warm up. Hey, Melanie. I know I'm sweating. Pass commenting away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey Lori, good morning. Are you watching or are you working? All right, just give me a couple more seconds and we're gonna go ahead and start our stretches. All right, let me get our timer back on for seven minutes. You guys can get some time to cool down. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start standing up with our legs a little bit wider than shoulders. I'm gonna speed back a little bit. Okay. All right, so as we're still breathing heavy, you wanna make sure your back is nice and straight. All right, all right, good job, Lori. <laughs> we're gonna bring our body up and over the center. Try to keep your back nice and straight here. And when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and drop it down the center and go ahead and roll your back. And of course, make sure you're breathing here. 
And we're gonna go ahead and walk it over to that right foot. And dropping nice and close to that right thigh. I'm gonna go ahead and walk it over to that left foot. Dropping even closer now to that left thigh. And we're gonna go ahead and turn that right foot out, slide that left leg back into our right side runner's lunge. Make sure your hands are on the inside of that right foot. You're reaching that left foot back nice and long, reaching that heel back to that wall behind you. So that way you know that left leg is nice and straight. All right, go ahead and drop your left knee and untuck your toes. And if you wanna come down to your elbows here for a deeper stretch, you can. Just be careful of letting that right knee bow out. Try to keep it nice at that 90 degree angle here. And go ahead and bring your torso up. And you're gonna continue to hinge those hips forward here. You're gonna take your right arm nice and strong, bring it across your body, hug it in real tight, and look over that right shoulder. I wish I could say if you see somebody, say hi, but I know you're probably not seeing anybody. I really miss being at the gym, guys. And then go ahead and relax. Bring that left arm across, hugging it in nice and strong, and looking over that left shoulder. And go ahead and release. You're gonna go ahead and bring your body up. Straight that right leg, flex those right toes. Hands come down by your hips. Slide your hips back as your body comes up and over that right leg. You wanna make sure you're not sitting back on that back foot. You're just covering and your back is nice and straight. You don't wanna to try to get your head down to your knee, but really work on bringing your chest down instead. All right, take a deep breath. Let's take it into our splits. Here we go in three, two, one. <laughs> All right, to help, help out with these splits, you wanna make sure your hands aren't way out here, but you walk them up by your hip line and you're sitting up nice and tall. You can bring your head up. That'll help bring your weight down to the floor. All right, go ahead and bring it back to that middle split. Legs are wider than when we started now that we're all loose. And you can drop your head down here if you wanna to come to your elbows. If you wanna walk your hands between your legs, it's up to you. But we're gonna kinda of drop all our weight down the center. All right, go ahead and walk it over to that left side, runner's lunge. Hands on the inside of your left foot this time. That right knee leg is nice and straight. And left knee is at a 90 degree angle. All right, go ahead and drop that right knee. Untuck your toes. And again, if you want to drop down to your elbows here, you can. I really wish I could make the music louder, but we were told that we cannot play music out loud on Facebook, so that's kind of a bummer. But if you have your own music at home, when we get to those, um, those bag rounds or those air rounds, please get on your own music to help motivate you. I know music really motivates me. Go ahead and come on up. And we're gonna straighten that left leg, hands down by your hips, slide those hips back, and your body comes up and over that left thigh. All right, go ahead and take it into that left side split. Here we go. <laughs> All right, and again, trying to walk your hands up by your hips here, not way down in front of you. Sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna take a deep breath before we take it to our butterfly. In two, one, here we go. Whoo, my favorite part. Go ahead and take it to your butterfly. You wanna have your hands on your ankles here. Nice straight back, bring your body up and lean it over. Trying to bring your chest down to your feet, not your head. You don't want to roll, all of your stretches should be nice and long. All right, go ahead and stretch out that right foot. Left foot is in, we're bringing it up to the ceiling and up and over to those right toes. All right guys, don't forget abs for April is starting tomorrow. Um, Kim has been posting all the information you need for that on our uh, Facebook page. So make sure you check that out and get started. I know you gotta get rid of three bad habits, take three classes a week, and do our ab workouts. Bring that left leg over your right, hug it in, sit up tall, twisting, looking over to the left. Guys, I know it's really hard to work out from home, but you guys have to keep it up so that way when we open up and we're ready, you are ahead of the game and you're ready to get started all over again. You don't have to restart, but you can start right where you left off. So really try to get these workouts in any time of the day. All right, left leg out, right foot in. 
The good thing about this is you don't have to do them live. Reach it up and reach over your toes. Once we do them live, they're recorded. You can watch them from our Facebook page or you can go to our YouTube channel. Again, that link was also posted in our on our page. So if you need that, go ahead and look out for that. Right foot over your left, hugging it in. Sit up really tall, twisting, looking over to the right. Try not to have your hand way back behind you. Like Amanda says, no uh, CK models here. All right, both legs out in front of you. This is our last stretch. We're gonna reach up to the ceiling and go up and over to those toes. And let's go one more time, reaching up to the ceiling and up and over to those toes. All right, Club Kickbox, that is my last stretch I have for you. We have about 45 seconds before we get started for those bag rounds. Go ahead and shake out your legs, get, your, get a quick drink of water, get your gloves on, find a spot. And we will get started. Let me check out who is here. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Dad. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get our gloves on. Like I said, if you don't have gloves, you can use a bottle of water for that extra weight. You don't even have to use anything because we're gonna be doing some cardio. We're gonna be working those arms regardless. So we are gonna do seven rounds. Of course, we're gonna change them around a little bit because we don't have our bags. Now, if you have a bag at home, I know a bunch of you have ordered bags, awesome. All right, so if you ordered a bag, do all the combos on the bag, just like you would at our gym. If you don't have a bag, you're just gonna do them like Ryan and Julia are gonna do them. I'm gonna show them a few times. They're gonna kind of take over and I'm gonna walk you through it. All right, so another thing that I decided to do, because I know when you're working alone at home, sometimes after three minutes of doing the same thing, we get kind of tired of it. So I'm gonna add the last 20 seconds of every single round, I've added an exercise. So it might be cardio, it might be arms, it might be abs. So whatever it is, try to do it for that last 20 seconds to finish off each round. All right guys, so for round one, as always, we're gonna be working on that jab cross. So, actually, I'm gonna use my pink gloves. <laughs> my very first pair of Club Kickbox gloves. All right, so for that jab cross, again, we're not hitting the bag, we're hitting the air. So you wanna make sure with all of these, your arms are tight, your abs are tight, and we're gonna do a lot of cardio to keep you moving. So we're gonna get in that fighter stance, left leg in front of your right. I know I'm opposite of you, so I'm gonna say it, I'm not good enough to switch it for you. All right, so left leg in front of your right, gloves up by your face. That jab is thrown out with that left. Make sure you are snapping it back to your face every time. When I say cross, it's that right punch, palm is down. We are still pivoting that back foot with that cross. So with that cross, that back foot pivots too, and we throw that strong cross punch, and it comes back. So all together, it's jab, cross, bring it back. Jab, cross, bring it back. All right, we're gonna start in place. If you hear me say bob weave, we're gonna do a squat back and a squat front. All right, so bob weave is away from the front of the room, back down to the towards the front. We might do some shuffles forward, some shuffles back. Just follow my lead. All right, guys, we're getting started with round one, just starting with that jab, cross, there is the bell. Go ahead, guys. Just go ahead. We're in place here, just working on those jab cross punches. Remember that jab with the left and that cross is with the right. Really get that pivot in when you throw that cross punch. All right, there we go, guys. Good job. We're just warming up. All right, we're already 30 seconds into round one. You can do this. All right, in about five seconds, we're going to go ahead and add that bob weave I was talking about. So you're going to throw a jab cross. We're gonna go to the back. Make sure you go all the way into that squat. Come up, squat to the front. All right, so here we go. It's jab, cross, and we're bobbing, and we're weaving. Jab, cross. So we are working those legs now. We're getting that cardio up. All right, good job, guys. Make sure for all of this, too, your core is very tight. You don't ever wanna let that core go. All right, keep going, jab, cross, and then bottom and that weave. Try to sink down even lower now. We're getting those hips down to the ground. All right, keep it going guys, you got this. Just a few more here, and then we're gonna add some more punches and some shuffles. All right, there you go, Ryan, there you go, Julia. <laughs> Aren't they awesome? I 
I made him wake up and do this. <laughs> All right, just a few more seconds here. We're halfway through round one. All right, guys, now we're gonna go ahead and take it to a jab, cross, I'm sorry, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. All right, let's get the punches down, then we'll add those shuffles. So it's jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Gloves are up, jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, glove back, jab, cross. Remember, it's not a boom, boom, back. It's bring it back, bring it back, and cross. All right, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. All right, guys, we're gonna be adding those shuffles. Keep going. It's gonna be jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, and then we're gonna take two shuffles back, two shuffles forward. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross, shuffle, 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 shuffle. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Two shuffles, two shuffles. Keep going. Jab, jab, cross. Two shuffles back, two shuffles up. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Keep it going, guys. When we get down to that 20 second mark, like I said, for this round, we're doing jumping jacks for the last 20 seconds. We're almost there. All right, you have just five more seconds. We're gonna stop this combo. Take it into 20 seconds of jumping jacks in three, two, one, here we go. We're finishing off strong, guys. Get those gloves up, bring them down to those thighs. Here comes that knock. There it is, I hope you heard it. All right, keep going, you have just five more seconds. Keep it going, and three, two, and through round one. Go ahead and glove five your dog or your cat or whoever's standing around you or yourself. <laughs> All right guys, so we're moving on to round two. So for this round we have jab cross cross, left body hook, left head hook. All right, so we have jab with the left, double cross. So again, twist, bring it back, twist, bring it back, or pivot, bring it back, pivot, bring it back. Please don't do this. Always bring your glove back to your face, protect that money maker. So it's jab, cross, cross, left body hook, so it's low, you're going for the ribs of that opponent, and bring that left hip to the front. So it's a pivot, it's not a swing, all right? You just lift that elbow and turn into it, and then one to the head, all right? So jab, cross, cross, left to the body hook, left to the head hook, jab, cross, cross. Ready? Left to the body, all right, guys, here we go. Round two, I'll say it a few times. So it's jab, cross, cross. Left up to the body. You're going for the ribs there. And one for the head for that knockout. Jab, cross, cross, to the body, to the head. Jab, cross, cross, to the body, to the head. All right, guys, really make sure you're getting that twist in. Your core should be tight. You should be bringing that left hip to the front of your room for all of those hooks. It's jab, cross, cross, left body hook. Left head hook, keep going. For about 30, 30 more seconds, we're gonna switch it up a little. Jab, cross, cross, to the body, to the head. Jab, cross, cross, body, head. Really make sure you're getting that twist in. You're gonna feel it in the side here. If your core's tight and you're doing it right and you're twisting, you are gonna get that side muscle build. All right, a few more seconds here. To the body, to the head. We're gonna go ahead and take it to non-stop hooks. In three, two, one. So now you're switching. This time, now, your right hip is coming forward, your left hip is coming forward, and your gloves are coming back to your face in between. Here we go, non-stop hooks. All right, those of you who are on the bag, go ahead and hit that bag now. If you're hitting the air, just make sure you're really getting that pivot in. All right, you have about 10 more seconds of these non-stop hooks, and we're gonna go ahead and take it back to that combo. Whoo, in three, two, one, here we go, taking it back. It's jab, cross, cross, left to the body, left to the head. Jab, cross, cross, to the body, to the head. All right, keep it going. Body, head. Let's go ahead and add that bob and weave. All right, so now we're gonna do jab, cross, cross, left to the body, left to the head, and add that bob and weave in between those rounds. Here we go. Jab, cross, cross, to the body, to the head, and add that bob and weave. Jab, cross, cross, body, head. Bob and weave. You guys are almost there. You only have about 30 seconds till we take it to that 20 second exercise, which this time, I'm not gonna tell you yet. I'll tell you when we get there. All right, keep going that jab, cross, cross, left body, left head. 
All right, let's go ahead and take it into non-stop hooks again. In three, two, one. Here we go. Non-stop, non-stop. Hip, 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 hip. It's a body punch, guys. Not all arm. All right, you have just a few more seconds. And that 20 second exercise this time is jump squats. All right, here we go, guys. In three, two, one. Last 20 seconds. Let's bang out those jump squats. Here we go. You have just 13 seconds. Here comes that knock. There it is. You got 10 seconds, guys. Keep pushing. All right, and we're counting it down in three, two, You guys made it to round three. You guys tired yet? I know we're sweating down here. All right, we're gonna add some kicks. For round three, we have, let's see. First three movements are on the right. Gloves are up. It's a knee up for a right front kick. Right uppercut. So you're gonna bring that elbow down, pivot and bring it up, back, sorry. And a right hook, all right? So three rights, right front kick, Right uppercut, right hook, and then it's gonna go into a left uppercut, left hook. Here. Sorry, I should turn it. Oh. All right, so again, we have right front kick, really throw that kick with some force. Right uppercut, right hook, left uppercut, left hook. All right, so again, it's gloves up, right front kick. Guys, please don't do this. All right, gloves up, right front kick. Ready? Right upper hook, right. Right upper, right hook, left upper, left hook. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with round three. In three, two, one, gloves up. It's a right front kick, right upper, right hook, left upper, left hook. Right front kick, right upper, right hook, left upper, left hook. Guys, make sure that front kick is strong. Don't cheat it. All right, keep those gloves up, keep going. Right front kick, right upper, right hook. Left upper, left hook. All right, there we go. And again, if you're hitting the bag, make sure you are bringing that knee up and exploding the ball of your heel out to the bag, those of you who are lucky enough to have that bag. All right, keep going, guys. In about 10 seconds, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take it into some nonstop punches. All right, we're gonna take it into nonstop uppercuts in three, two, one, here we go. So it's up and up. And up, make sure you are coming up and you are twisting that hip to the front. And it's not like you're hitting the bag. We go to the gut when we hit the bag, but when we're going to the air, we're going for that chin. All right, keep going. <laughs> All right, you have about 10 more seconds in these nonstop uppercuts before we take it back to that combo. And we're already halfway through round three. All right, five more seconds. We're taking it back to that combo in three, two, one, here we go. So it's strong right front kick, right upper, right hook, left upper, left hook, strong right front kick, right upper, right hook, left upper, left hook. All right, keep it going, guys. You got this. We're going to add one little thing to it in about 15 seconds. Keep going with what you're doing. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you guys probably hear the dogs barking in the background. All right, there we go. Good job, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add that shuffle in between rounds now. So it's gonna be a right front kick, right upper, right hook, left upper, left hook. Take it, shuffle back, shuffle front. All right, start over. Right front kick, right upper, right hook, left upper, left upper, hook, shuffle back, shuffle forward. All right, we're just adding some of that cardio in here. And you only have 20 more seconds before we take it to that 20 second exercise. I'll tell you what it is in just a few seconds. But we're adding that shuffle at the end of every combo. Whew. All right, you got five more seconds, guys. Our 20 second exercise for round three is jab cross high knees. Here we go in three, two, one, let's go. Bring those knees up here. Throw out that jab cross, guys. It's called high knees. Get those knees up. Here we go, there's that knock. You have just seven seconds. Don't stop early, there's no point to it. You only have three more, all the way to the bell, and... Woo! Oh my God, I see sweat, I see sweat, so we're doing a good job. All right, we're at round four. All right, so we have... All right, so now we're gonna start with that roundhouse kick. So we don't have a bag, I'll show you that modification. 
So it's right roundhouse, jab, jab, cross, left roundhouse. So at home, we're gonna do a right knee. So you're grabbing your opponent's head and you're smashing it with your knee. Kind of violent, but for a Sunday. So it's right roundhouse, all right? Jab, jab, cross, left roundhouse. Or you can do your roundhouse kick if you're confident in your balance. So it's right roundhouse, jab, jab, cross, switch those feet, left roundhouse, all right? So again, it's right knee, or right roundhouse, jab, jab, cross, switch those feet, left knee, or left roundhouse. All right, we have just a couple of seconds. Woo, I'm out of breath. Here we Ready? Go. Ready, here we go. It's a right roundhouse, or right knee, jab, jab, cross, left knee, and again. Right knee, jab, jab, cross, and left knee. Really pull that knee up, you are smashing that head, guys. It is right roundhouse, jab, jab, cross, and, uh, and you can really jump change those feet to really get some momentum to bring that left knee up. <laughs> All right, they're smashing heads back here. Woo! All right, keep it going, guys. So it's right knee, jab. Make sure for that jab, that glove is coming back. Jab, bring it back. Add that pivot for that cross. Switch those feet for that left knee. All right, guys, we're already almost one minute into the round. So of course we have to add something. And what's it gonna be this time? All right, couple more seconds. Whew. All right, keep it going. And next up, we're gonna take it into non-stop right roundhouse kicks or right knees. All right, in three, two, one. So it's just the right. Bring it back, just the right. Really put some power into that, tighten your core. All right, we're just doing the right. Or if you wanna do those right roundhouse kicks, you are doing those right roundhouse kicks. If you're confident in your balance, don't kick over a lamp. Don't kick your kids. All right, keep going here. You have just five more seconds before we take it back to that combo. In three, two, one, in case you forgot, it's a right roundhouse, jab, jab, cross, into that left roundhouse or that left knee. Guys, you're more than halfway through the round. Let's keep going. Now is when you really start to push when you're tired. When you push when you're tired, that's where you get stronger. All right, you don't give up when you're tired. You push. All right, here we go. And right now, jab, jab, cross. Here's that left roundhouse. Whew. You have just 60 seconds left. Actually, just 40 because we have that 20 second exercise at the end and it's a fun one this time. All right, so keep pushing yourself. Whoo! Nice and breath. All right. Thank goodness for Ryan and Julia. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, get it! <laughs> All right, 20 more seconds, guys. Our exercise for round four is gonna be 20 seconds of froggies. You can do those with your gloves on. Remember, it's the bottom half of a burpee. All right, so you have just five more seconds. Try to get two more combos in that right. Jab, jab, cross that left, that right. Jab, jab, cross that left. Here we go, guys. We're taking it to 20 seconds of froggies. Here we go. Feet come out and in. Come up to that squat. And out and in. You never stand straight. There's that 10 second knock. Here we go. Don't stand up straight. Get that leg workout. And two. One. Woo! We're already at round five. Woo! Go ahead and get a quick drink. I know you guys are sweating out there. I know I am. All right, so round five, let me pause the timer, take a little rest. All right, so round five we have, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and do a left uppercut, right hook, cross, okay? So that's the beginning. Left uppercut, right hook, cross. Every punch has a pivot. We're pivoting that left hip for a left uppercut, that right hip for that right hook, and bringing it back before we throw that cross. Don't go from here to here, that's not right. It's a right hook, bring it back, cross. All right, so left upper, right hook, cross. Then we have a left front kick, left knee, or left roundhouse. So the kicks are, get those feet set, left front kick, left knee. All right, so put it together. We have left uppercut, right hook, cross, left front kick, left knee. 
All right, one last time. Left uppercut, right hook, cross, left front kick, left knee. Really tighten that core for that knee. Get that ab workout, guys, while you can. All right, we ready for round five? Let me get that timer started. There it is. So here we go. It's left uppercut, right hook, bring it back, cross. Left front kick, left knee. All the kicks are on the left. So left uppercut, right hook, cross. Left front kick, left knee. Keep it going. Left upper, right hook, cross. Left front kick, left knee. All right, so remember all those punches, you're pivoting on all of them. Those hips should be facing your camera. Every time you do it, face your computer or your phone, whatever you're using. And those front kicks, kick with force, guys. No dangling dead fish feet. Flex those feet or point those toes, you decide, but make sure they are strong. All right, if you kick somebody with a flopping foot, you're gonna get hurt. All right, so make sure those feet are strong. Whew, just a few more seconds here, guys. And we gotta even out this workout. We're gonna take it into left knees only. In three, two, one. So now it's just left, left, left. If you're hitting the bag and you're doing roundhouse kicks, it's roundhouse, tap it back. Don't take a whole bunch of steps. Just tap that foot back, bring it right back up again. No two step here. Just hit it back, hit it back, hit it back. All right, keep going. You have about 10 more seconds here. Woo, nice tight abs. Those knees are coming up. You're smashing that head. All right, guys, we're taking it back to that combo. In three, two, and one. Here we go. It's a left uppercut, right hook, and cross. Left front kick, left knee. Again, left uppercut, right hook, cross. Left front kick, left knee. Keep it going, guys. All right, left upper, right hook, cross. Left front kick, left knee. I know it's not fun working out in your house, but once you start, I know you feel better. I do it every single day. I don't want to go down to my basement and work out by myself, but once I do, and I see my club kickbox instructors on the screen, I get motivated and I want to do it. And then I feel so good when it's done. I can't tell many times I laid in bed and watched the workout. <laughs> and it took me like 15 minutes to get the energy to get down there and do it. But once I'm done, I'm feeling good. All right, you just have 20 seconds until we take it to our ending 20 second exercise. All right, so keep pushing yourselves here. You got this, you're almost there. All right, I'm gonna join in now. So we have a left upper, right hook, cross, left front kick, left knee. 10 more seconds until we take it to nonstop bicycles. So you get to lay down and take a little break, right? Right hook, cross, left front kick. Here we go, that's that 20 second mark. We are, mark, we're down. We're taking it to bicycles, let's go. Hand behind your head. They're a little bit harder with that glove, those gloves on because you have a little bit extra weight. Is that luck? 10 seconds. Push yourselves. You got this. And counting it down for you in three, two, one. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> we're dying, I know, but that's good. All right, we're already on round six. Six minutes to go, guys. You got this until we get the speed round. All right. <laughs> so round six, we have a left front kick, right front kick. So notice I did not do this. All right, left front kick, right front kick to a left upper, left hook. That's easy to remember. All right, so left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook. All right, so left front kick, right front kick, left upper cut, left hook. That combo's kind of short, so be ready to add some things on to the end of it. Woo, you still have 10 more seconds, 15 seconds if you want to get a quick drink. <sighs> Ooh, there's that knock. All right, guys, left front kick, right front kick, left uppercut, left Ready? Up. Here we go. Left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook. Left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook. Remember, strong foot, strong foot, no fish feet. Okay, you would get hurt if you kick somebody with a dangling foot. You wanna hurt somebody, so you wanna flex that foot and really go with the ball of your foot. Left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook. All right, keep it going, we're 30 seconds in. Left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook. 
All right, keep pushing yourselves, guys. I know you're getting tired, but you are almost at the last and best round. Keep going. Don't stop early. I know there's nobody there to hold you accountable, but I'm here. Ryan and Julia are here. We want you to finish with us till the end. All right, guys, in a couple seconds, we're going to take it to front kicks only. Those gloves are up. We're going to add that squat in between. Here we go. In three, two, one. So it's a left front kick, squat. Right front kick, squat. Use that momentum from your squat to bring yourself up and bring that next front kick up. Here we go. Now that you're nice and warm, those squats are going real deep here. You're bringing those hips all the way down to the carpet, to the mat, wherever you are, to your tile floor, your hardwood, you're bringing them down. All right, just a few more seconds with these alternating front kicks. We're gonna take it back to that combo, but at the end of the combo, we're gonna add a right upper, right hook. So it'll be left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook, right upper, right hook. Here we go, in three, two, one. So we're adding a right upper, right hook. So it's left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook, right upper, right hook. All right, here we go. You have just a minute. Left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook, right upper, left hook. Make sure you're getting those pivots in and that core is nice and tight. The pivots is where you get the work from, guys. Especially since you're not hitting a bag, you really need to push your body into it. Left front kick, right front kick, left upper, left hook, right upper, right hook. Keep it going, guys. You have just 20 seconds till we take it but to our exercise of round six which actually we may do it for 15 seconds because it's kind of a tough one Woo. all right keep going guys left front kick right front kick left upper left hook adding that right upper left right hook all right keep it going all right we're down to that 20 second mark we're all gonna bring it down to that high plank we're gonna finish off round six with some push-ups here we go in three two one you're up on your fists here all right since you have gloves on and we're that knock. you only have 10 seconds left let's go if you need to drop down to your knees that's okay but keep going do not stop in three two one all right guys you made it to the last and best round Woo, glove five sunday fun day <laughs> all right so Round seven, we have whoo, jab, left hook, right roundhouse, cross, left roundhouse, or left knee. All right, so again, it's two with the left, jab, left hook. So two to the left, jab, left hook, all right? Then it's right knee, cross. So then two with the right, and then a left knee. All right, so two with the left, jab, left hook, right knee, cross, left knee all right so again jab left hook right knee cross left knee oh there's that 10 second mark get ready i'll say it out the first few times so you guys get the hang of it remember if you're on a bag you're throwing those roundhouse kicks you're ready on knees. all right so there it is last three minutes jab left hook right roundhouse cross left roundhouse or left knee jab oh, i forgot it jab left hook Right round arms, cross, left, jab, down. Right round house, cross, left round house. And again, when you're bringing up those knees, you are smashing ahead. Bring it up with force, tighten up that core. Get those abs, it is abs for April. All right guys, you got this. And it's Sunday, so this is week one. You can circle one day of the week. Plus you can get that honor roll. Post your sweaty selfie for proof. Not like we don't believe you, but we really want you to be motivated at home. And I can't wait to see everybody. All right, just a few more seconds. And we're just gonna take it to some regular old jab crosses. Take a little break in three, two, one. Just take it to that jab cross. Jab cross, if you wanna add that hop like Barb does, go ahead, jab cross, jab cross. Giving those legs a little break. You're almost halfway through round seven, guys. Keep going. If you're on the bag, you're going jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. And if you're going to the air, you're bouncing and you're throwing those punches. Woo! All right, guys, we are halfway there. We're going to take it back to that combo in case you guys jab, left hook, right roundhouse, cross, left roundhouse. Here we go in three, two, one. Jab, left hook, right roundhouse, cross, left roundhouse. Jab, left hook, right roundhouse, cross. Keep it going, guys. You have just a minute and 15 seconds. Hi, Trini. Welcome. All right, keep going. 
going. Woo! All right, you are almost at that one minute mark. And you know what that means, you'll only have 40 more seconds till we take it for our last exercise. And it's one we haven't done yet today, so you can only imagine. Whew, here we go. I'm gonna join in again. So we have jab, left hook, cross. Turn that hip, cross. I know that uh, Bree and Tina like to do those extra sounds with them. Those uh, zoom, zoom. Those are always fun to hear at 6 a.m. for those 30 minute quick fits. Jam, let's go. All right, you have 15 seconds, guys, till we take it to that last 20 second workout or exercise. All right, a few more seconds. And guess what? We're taking it to everybody's favorite burpees. Here we go. Bang them out, guys. You can do anything for 20 seconds. And then we just have that speed round. Woo! All right, there's that knock. Keep going. I know nobody's watching, but I see you. Make sure you're going for that last five, four, three, two. Woo! You made it through round seven. Guys, get water. We have the speed round. One little quick conditioning, and you're done with your Sunday fun day workout. You guys are killing it. Who's sweating? I'm sweating. And I'm doing it half as much as Ryan and Julia are back here. I see a like, I see a love. Woo! I miss you guys so much. I can't wait to get back. Stay home so we can get back out, guys. All right. So for our speed round, which is gonna get started in 20 seconds, it's kind of like a your choice. So we are gonna do 30 seconds of left punches only. Hey, Brian, 30 seconds of right punches only. You get to decide, that's the fun of it. Add some cardio, add some squats, do what you wanna do, but we're starting with the left. Any punches you want on the Ready? left. Ready? Here we go. Oh, there's that bell. Do you wanna do jab, hook, uppercut, I don't care. Anything, if you wanna do a left roundhouse or a left front kick, anything on the left, just keep moving. Guys, like I always say, that's a speed round. So you should be doing anything you're doing with some speed. You're already down to 10 seconds on the left. Remember, don't forget about that right arm. It shouldn't be down here. Have it up by your face. Five seconds. We're taking it to the right. In three, two, one. Switch it to that right. Here we go. That's that cross punch. If you want to double up those punches, you can. If you want to add a right kick, right front kick. All right, you guys have just 15 seconds. Y'all are killing it. Here we go. Here comes that knock. I hear it. There it is. Last 10 seconds, guys. Kill it. Let's go. Right side. Right side. And there it is. Woo! Yeah, guys. You made it through the speed round. Seven rounds of warm-up and the stretches. We have one last part. Woo! Go ahead and get some water before. You won't need your gloves. Kick them off. All right, make sure you're drinking. Even though you're at home, water's important. All right. So the conditioning for today, if you have a bag, awesome, because we're doing the roundhouse kicks from all fours. But since we don't have bags, I'm adding a little bit to it. Take a break, sit down and watch real quick, and then I'll tell you when to get started. So just like when we have our bags, we're gonna be on all fours and we're gonna be doing roundhouse kicks. So again, you don't have to start yet, just listen. I'm gonna do five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm gonna shoot those feet out and I'm holding a plank for 10 seconds. I'm gonna come back down. We're gonna do five with the left. One, two, three, four, five. Shooting those feet out, we're holding a plank for 10 seconds. We're gonna do it again the next time. We're holding an elbow plank. We're gonna do it one more time with walking push-ups. So, total of 15 right, 15 left, and we're gonna do a whole lot of planking. Just listen out if you forgot, I'm gonna do it with you. I'm gonna start our timer, but we're all on all fours. All right, here we go. We're on all fours, make sure you're not kicking a lamp or a kid or a dog. Have some space, 
Here we go. Five on the right and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Remember, no dangling feet. Shoot those feet out. We're holding a plank. I'm watching the timer. We got 10 seconds, guys. Whew. You can do anything for 10 seconds. All right, we have just three more. Two, back to all fours. To the left, here we go. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Here we go, and plank. 10 second plank. All right, make sure when you're in that plank, your core is tight. Don't let it hang or else you're not getting the point here. All right, tighten up those back muscles. And here we go, back to the right in three, two, one, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Elbow plank, here we go. And we are holding that elbow plank. You got this, guys. This is the end. That's when you push, guys. Don't give up now. You have just about a minute to go. Back on all fours. Here we go, left. One, two, three, four, five. Back to that elbow plank, here we go. And hold. Just 10 seconds. You got this. Five more seconds. And we're gonna go back to the right for one last round through. Two, one, here we go. To the right. Two, three, four, five. Here we go. Walking push-ups. Let's do it. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Make sure you're switching. Three more seconds. And back to all fours. And the left, here we go, one, last time. Two, three, four, five, last 10 seconds, walking push-ups, woo! Speed them up, speed them up, finish strong. Two, one, woo! Way to go, kickboxers. We made it. <laughs> I know you're dying, I'm dying, but that's a good thing. Get quick water and we will stretch it out. Woo! I am dying. <laughs> That's just so awful. <laughs> Sitting there. <sighs> Guys, make sure you still stretch. <sighs> make sure you're still stretching, guys, even though you're at home. Don't walk away. Get your water. Stretch it out. We don't want anybody to get hurt. <sighs> All right, guys. We're going to go to everybody's favorite that pancake. I'm gonna do it sideways so you can all see. But we're just laying down on a pancake. Woo. Go ahead and put your hands down by your shoulders. You're gonna slowly push yourself up. Stretching out that torso. Making sure you're inhaling and exhaling and slowly bring it down. And come back up. And bring it back down. All right, this time when you come up, you're gonna bring your hips back, your booty back to your heels into that child's pose. And walk it out forward. All right, go ahead and put your right hand behind your back. Walk your left hand to the right, pushing your hips to the left. So you really stretch out that left side, guys. All those knee ups, roundhouse kicks, that left side is has been worked today. Make sure you stretch it out and I'm sure you'll feel it later. And switch, left hand goes behind your back. Walk it over to the left. And again, pushing your hips to the right. Come back to all fours. And you're gonna go ahead and arch your back up like a cat. And then go ahead and drop that belly button down to the floor, looking up at the ceiling. This is awkward. <laughs> Making sure you're breathing, guys. This is where your heart rate is coming down. So nice inhales and exhales. All right, go ahead and tuck those toes under. Reach your heels back for that inverted V. And you're gonna go ahead and pedal your feet. One heel's down while the other comes up. And go ahead and bring both heels up. And both heels down. Both heels up. Both heels down. One last time, both heels up, both heels down. Bring your head between your arms for one deep stretch. Walk your hands to your feet, your feet to your hands. We're gonna slowly, one vertebra at a time, roll it up. Don't come up too fast. You don't wanna pass out. Woo! And spread those feet a little bit. Reaching up to the ceiling, go ahead and grab that left wrist with your right hand, pull it up, and reach over to the right. 
And guys, it is supposed to be a beautiful day outside. So go outside for a walk too to finish off this workout. Get it all in today. We're gonna go ahead and come down on that left knee. Bring your right arm across, hugging it in real tight. Stretch out that right arm. Release, left arm. Switch those legs. This time you're gonna take your right hand, put it behind your, between your shoulder blades. I realized I forgot to do this stretch during the stretches today. Sorry about that, I got distracted. We'll stretch out this arm now. And next arm. All right, go ahead and come up for one last stretch. We're gonna put our hands on our lower backs, push those hips forward. For one last stretch, bring it up. Give yourselves a round of applause for an awesome workout. Y'all killed it on this Sunday, fun day. You're done with your workout for the day. Can't wait to see you guys in the gym soon. Thank you, bye. Round of applause for Ryan and Julia. <laughs> Ah, Trini said the pancake. <laughs> That's your favorite, I know. <laughs>